I want to ask you about opportunity zones. I believe that you have uh, an initiative uh, with a colleague in West Virginia, Opportunity Zones. Can you explain, sir? Yes, sir. Opportunity Zones allows for a deferral of the capital gains tax up to 10 years if you'll make a long-term investment in some of the distressed communities. In West Virginia, the opportunity for these zones is around the opioid crisis. West Virginia has the highest opioid crisis in the country. If we're looking for a way to bring <clears throat> new uh, tools uh, to, the, to the challenge, I think one of the ways that we do that is by investing capital in distressed communities and allowing for workforce development, infrastructure, new jobs, living wages created by the market, not the government, to yeah. so tackle some of the challenges that we see there. It would be private sector money, private sector capital that moves to these zones as opposed to taxpayer government money, right? Well, we've already tried the government pro approach and it's been uh, found woeful and uh, wanting. Uh, now I'm looking for a way to do what has worked for 240 plus years of our country's history, and that is private sector capital flowing into areas, producing jobs and opportunities in a way that the government has not and I think cannot.